Okay. Um, I'm with uh, uh, Mr. Chu from uh, uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. Right. <coughs> yeah. Um, he brought some uh, charitable artworks from uh, his late uh, uh, father, very famous uh, master, Professor Charles Chu. Um, and as you have seen this morning, I posted this imitation of uh, Master Chu's work. And here's the original, and you can compare. <laughs> this is good at work. <laughs> it's, it's a great imitation. <laughs> very, very nice. Thank you. Um, so it's a, a rare opportunity to hold the original of the master's work. I can feel the breath and the heart beating when I uh, look at the original. So I'm going to mount the painting uh, as a demo. So your name is Ke Kevin. Kevin. Kevin is going to uh, do the practice later and uh, to mount the collection of 800 pieces by Professor Chu. So we'll mount as many as five if we have time. Okay. And as preparation, we have cut it, uh, we have cut the material, uh, the plant backing paper, plant backing paper, which uh, it's about 90 pounds, I'll say, uh, maybe less than that. It's, it's, you can see the, how soft it is. And the, the silicone paper, uh, as an adhesive. We use method B because this is a uh, trouble-free method. If you use a support, like a, a backing paper, uh, but the disadvantage is that uh, uh, it may be harder to transport. You know, you, you can still roll it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you use a heavier support, heavier than this one, this uh, plant backing paper that we carry, uh, we carry at uh, Blue Heron Arts, you you can use uh, watercolor paper, but watercolor paper may be too heavy, like it's uh, 300 pound watercolor or 140 maybe. But uh, it's not easy to roll as the uh, as this way. You don't have to use uh, he too heavy, but the heavy paper will be okay. You can you even use a board, uh, like a museum board, if you want to be very professional. You can use a gather board, which is a thick uh, foam board, a very good. Uh, so you can you can use method A, put a, a mounting paper on this original, then you uh, put you know transfer it onto a permanent support. But this is permanent. That's, that's good. Okay, and we need to have a iron. It's this iron is uh, uh, like a household iron. Okay, but each um, iron may have different uh, temperature control. I um, officially you need 180 Fahrenheit. I don't really measure them. I put in between, mine is between silk and the wall. Silk and the wall is the, uh, you can have a little lower to start with, but it will take longer work. If it's too hot, uh, it's shorter time, you know, you, you reach the required temperature quickly, but uh, it, it gives you less, uh, when you get, you know, more skillful, you can do a little higher. But this range is between silk and the wall. Don't uh, exceed wall and lower than silk, okay? And first thing I'm going to do is to iron the adhesive onto the backing paper. So the film side facing the uh, teeth side, if you touch this, there's a shiny side and the uh, rough side. The rough side, okay, yeah. the, the rough side <laughs> should be facing the film. It's uh, the uh, front side. And uh, no water, okay, dry, dry iron, just iron. At this point, because we're going to do the framing eventually, so alignment, positioning, placement, 
are not a big problem. You just put it in the middle of the backing paper, because we have a lot of extra space on the uh, backing paper to work with, as long as you have this space uh, inside, you know. So this is the, the work would be. Uh, let me get a water spray next. We have enough water, I think. We have a little bit of water left. Um, let me see if I need to... Is this uh, just tap water? Or yeah, tap, tap water. water. Can you maybe help me fill a little bit more? Just take this out and then fill it in a little. Yeah, uh, maybe still water is best. Uh, tap water is fine because we don't need much. Uh, if the painting is, is very flat, you don't need to... Um, water too much, but uh, moisture will relax the painting, you know, to make it a little easier. For small pieces, to be frankly, I, I just, you know, I, I can just do it without water, especially if you have a humid uh, climate. Uh, the East Coast maybe. Cape Cod is humid. Yeah. Okay, so you don't need to bother. The air is, is in the paper already. Here in California, we have like 30, 40 uh, humidity, percentage of humidity, yes. very dry, so we definitely need some water to work with, okay? Um, so I just spray this, I, sometimes I hold it, here's the, the taboo, I will say this is a taboo, never spray anything on this working area, by the way I have four layers of denim on top of a, a hard wood uh, you know, table, any, any folding table would do. Uh, I use a ping pong table, <laughs> it's just for the better space, you know, we used to play ping pong. Um, okay, you spray, uh, you can spray it like, like so, if you don't have a, you know, a surface, you can hold it against the, the floor, maybe just you know, like that, uh, in, a, in a distance, uh, in a couple of, you know, couple of feet, a uh, couple of feet maybe. So just moisturize it. Just like you iron a shirt, basically. You know how to iron a shirt, right? So you know how to do this part. Um, let it relax a little bit. You see some drops. That's not good. Um, if the drop is too big, that makes bubbles when you iron. So wait for that to dry a little bit. Be even. Yeah, you don't want a little water on it. Okay. Especially the big drops. Just mist. Just the mist, yeah. If you have a fine, uh, this is a, supposed to be a very fine mist spray. It's from an art supply store. You, you can get, uh, you know, just any water spray should work. Some cosmetic ones. Yeah, you know. but sometimes, yeah. a couple of times, you get water together, become. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Be swap. So the next thing is to uh, peel off this uh, this uh, uh, release paper. Release the the paper that comes with the silicone film. You, you release from the one corner across to the uh, diagonal corner. Okay. Uh, just peel from one corner to the, to the diagonal side. Now I notice that you, you ironed first, and yeah. then you missed it. Do you need to let the uh, uh, silicone cool down a little yes. bit before you peel it off? The, yes, it's easier to let it still, uh, cool down, because otherwise it's too sticky. Yeah. It's still too warm, <laughs> but uh, it's okay. You can, you can work. Can I touch it? Yeah. yeah. It's firm already. Yeah. It very has quick. A, very quick. Very yeah. quick. Yeah. So you put this on. You're already too dry. <laughs> maybe. But we don't have much wrinkles. But it's kind of hard to to see the silicone. That's a problem. Yeah. You need to. So when you cut the silicone paper, always and uh, try to be, if not very precise, the same size. A little bigger. Yeah. Slightly smaller. See, you can can you see the edge there? Uh, we we try you know, to yeah a little. I hear it's bigger because and method B I told him to um, do this bigger. The the film will cause problem when you iron it, my point. But that's for method A, 
the not part because that if you mess it in because the film will stick on the cloth. But this one doesn't have that to worry. So uh, it's okay to cut a little bit uh, bigger actually. We, we, we decided to do that. You can cut it precisely as the original, uh, but then you have to match it carefully. If you miss any, the edge will be loose. So I, I, see, yeah. Yeah, I try to, I think, even you know, when I put the, I think it, we, we, we're barely, you can see we, we cut it very close to the original in this case. I have to match it. Very carefully. And then we put this on. This is the release paper. Now we serve this as a protecting sheet to protect the uh, original. You will naturally have this piece in the size of the painting because it comes with you cut that. Yeah, yeah. You, you cut it that way. So that's the, the protecting sheet. We, we just iron from the center out. Okay, here's another thing. I got some uh, already. So you see, this, this film is larger. So the protection sheet doesn't cover that. So when I touch this film, see, it's just see. Yeah, it's see? Thick. That's, That's what, what Victoria seeing. was talking about. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. of course. If this paper, paper towel, please. See, if this paper larger yeah. and you were sealed <laughs> on the paper and you cannot move it, if you move, it's dangerous to the painting. Okay, give me a piece of paper towel, please. Uh, let me see. Okay, now I use a, a, a larger piece to protect it. Then we uh, don't have to worry about that, okay? I just use a, a large, instead of a small piece, because uh, uh, if you, you use this piece theoretically, you could do it. You have to be, you have to match the shining. Mm -hmm. Surface, you have to match. I think the dryer one will work better. The dryer one, because this need to be warm. I know it's too wet. It it should be dry. Too wet, too dry. So you got a little bit of the silicone on the iron itself. So yeah, you, you yeah. The iron. iron uh, yeah. Okay. Um, here, here's the the problem again. Uh, see this extra extra silicone. Yes. You have to protect that area oh, from ironing on it. Otherwise, it stick on the iron, make it too difficult to strike, to stroke. You see, this I, I just didn't put it right. I think yeah. theoretically you can should do be, it. Should yeah, be exact. Should be exact. Yeah, exact. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you put it exact, thank you, sir. <clears throat> so I, let me clean that. So I'm distracting you. Yeah, be so careful sorry. with your hand because this is kind of hot. So I, uh, yeah, it's, 180 it's, degrees. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. Don't touch it. Yeah. So I, I just clean it. And let me still stick on this. You can use a larger piece. But I like to see what's going on with the exact piece uh, better. Because when you do a larger piece, you, you're kind of blind. Mm -hmm. you, um, well, you can still see it, I think. Yeah. It's still trans translucent. So you can use a larger piece to avoid this problem, okay? And uh, you can see the silicone goes on this protecting sheet yeah. right there. Yeah. You just clean it up, it doesn't, so you just clean like, but it, you know, when I repeat on this part, it will be sticky, you can touch this. It got stained, it's got the silicone yeah. on it. Oh yes, I see. So I want to use the cleaner, I want to. I just replace that paper. So this one could be rested. You have more pieces, uh, so yeah, I can use a clean. Any kind yeah. of paper. Yeah, you can use a newsprint, drawing paper, or um, any any kind of paper for this. Protection. You don't have, yeah, okay. right. Or or uh, backing for what is it? Cookie sheets. The, the backing. Actually, the 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 key point is your iron iron. Iron clean. Yeah, if you didn't clean it thoroughly, um, when it gets warm, mm -hmm. it melts. <laughs> yeah, it, you see the, the, the dirt. Yeah, but that's because the, uh, if you if you do it right, you will stay in the, mm -hmm. the, the, yeah. the original. I'm sure I will make this mistake <laughs> uh -huh. to clean off the iron. Yeah. Is just just water and, and paper. Yeah, they're they're professional uh, things. I I'll show you later. 
see like mm-hmm. at 100, yeah. up at 180 uh, yeah. or 75 or Fahrenheit, mm-hmm. it's mel- melting status and you can get off. Yes. Or um, I didn't try when it's cold, if you can peel it, probably you need a very thin line mm-hmm. okay. layer there. <laughs> okay. So try to not get on that. Yeah. I think this is it. I'll, I'll make that mistake many times. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. yeah. It's wonderful. Uh-huh. Yeah. More, more, more color appeared, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's so wrinkle it's really, free. Yeah. Right? Really it's, useful for yeah, the getting this, paper. The, this part is still a little bit uh, wrinkles, minor wrinkles. Uh, you can uh, you can just uh, flatten it by uh, a little bit more. I mean, sometimes it's because the uh, because we're using a stroke, there some you know some pressure at e uneven, so you need to even it out. So the, the wrinkle goes this way. I can see. So I, I iron uh, the vertical way to stretch it. You can is uh, you have to eliminate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And see this is a minor one. You can see that little wrinkle goes horizontal, right? And uh, just it's color it's so much smoother than it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it could be the neck. Uh, it could you can get those tiny wrinkles. But if you are really perfectionist, you can. You can keep yeah, working. like when you do the screen on the car, um, the window. Yeah. So get out of the bubble. Yeah. But mm-hmm. need to be very careful. What What you can do is you can spray wrinkles. You can spray a little like a major wrinkle. Yeah. You can spray a little more. Oh, and then iron it again. Yeah, just away from the uh, this piece, okay? Because if you got water on this part, it will you will make the wrinkle on the back side of the the backing paper. That that's the uh, worst mistake. You should avoid. So no no water on this uh, iron area. 90% of people having trouble is because they got water on this uh, paddy. Um, that will create wrinkle from the backside. Yeah. When you heat it, <laughs> that, that steam comes from back. Mm. That's the problem. So I can spray it to help stretch it out. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. If you see any other wrinkle, I can make it 100% wrinkle free. you see anything? No, well, well, maybe just a tiny bit there. Tiny there? Okay, yeah, not that much. No, I, I, well, I don't really see it. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. two pieces of uh, backing paper and the painting, they are different texture. So when it gets wet and the stretched again, it's very hard to get 100% even. Yeah. You know, and when you press it, sometimes, you know, you stretch it. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for watching the people on Facebook. I'm going to uh, turn it to Ken- Kevin. Kevin. Uh, oh, it's Kevin's turn. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay, let me take a picture. Hello, everybody. Let me take a picture of this finished work. This show. Let me see. So you can take a picture uh, because this is the best time, you know, to take a picture before the road. It's wrinkle-free. Where is it? I got frozen. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. Shoot. Okay. So, uh, do you remember the steps? I, I'll give you t- the. I, I'll give you instructions. You, you, I think you'd yeah. better walk me through again. Yeah, yeah. yeah I will. Can you put, uh, put, 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 put this piece together? I want to see oh, the picture. Yeah. yeah. I mean, put this. Your, 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 your. <laughs> your yeah, thank you. <laughs> My siblings are going to love this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I should put uh, a bug there. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> it would look. Great. I think it will look great if I copy that back later when I have time. <laughs> it's a 
Where is the grass hopper? Yeah. But I got the idea, I'll, I'll make it up later. So, um, put this on the side. 